YouTube, what is up? How is everybody doing today? I hope your days are going good and your lives are going even better than that. We are going to be jumping into Infant Annihilator with a song called Blasphemian. It's only a matter of time, to be honest with you. We've been going through so many heavy bands that we had to go into anything and I don't know if I want to go from here the rest I have to go up to Grindcore to find something that's going to be more extreme than this from what I can gather like a, like a lot of people have told me man just don't do infant and I later as long just because of how fucked up it is but for me I love fucked up lyrics so we're going to give it a bash we're going to see how we go it's seven minutes of brutality by the looks of it man just from the picture I haven't even pressed play on the show either way man let's fucking jump into this Is it bad that I thought it was on those speakers and not on these? <laughs> it was like, just from how far away it was, just like in terms of its position. I... Yeah, it sounds quite peaceful so far. I know it's not going to say this way, but it sounds quite peaceful and ominous at the same fucking time. <laughs> oh fucking hell that's awesome Um, and I forgot that in front of Nile, I also a, a powder band. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> it's fuck oh, shit. That's fucking hilarious. That's awesome. I love that. It's great. Literally, we're, not, we're here, like in the lyrics, like, we're like, what, two minutes in on this? Like, that's awesome, man. That's fucking sick. <laughs> oh, shit. Is it even really worth breaking down where we got two minutes? I guess you may as well, man. We're almost two minutes into the video. Um,. Ruins of monuments and for fertile carcasses lie in the continent, as in ruins of the monuments of cities and fertile means fetus, like it's like a oh, a fetus, it's something like that. Um, lie in all of the continents, like lie in every single country, place in the world type shit. Continuously crawling from the mouth of the abyss, my minions, viciously ingesting, like ingesting all of the fetuses unborn babies like basically creatures coming out and fucking ingesting children so yeah such beautiful amazing um family friendly and fam family friendly pg lyrics let's go Oh, 
Um, I think people are way too serious about this band. <laughs> people told me not to read it and I let us look something. It's just like a more fucked up kind of book in terms of its lyrical stuff. At least that's how I'm really kind of like viewing it anyway. Um, let's see. They have come to conquer the cunt and slay the aspen. Kind of self explanatory. Um, harvesting the land of putridity, harnessing its treacherous essence. As in all of the putridness from all of the death and destruction is being harnessed. Like its, its essence is being, is, is being harnessed, being taken away, whatever you want to call it. Aroused by the extermination, i.e., the apocalypse inseminator. That is such a fucking awesome line. I love it. Like, literally aroused by the fucking extermination. <laughs> the inseminator of the apocalypse is just like, that's such a fucking metaphor, man. That is awesome. Bow to my infestation, the era of infant annihilation. Yeah. Basically, killing everybody's children. Like, everybody's little children. And then the stench of feces and fertile flesh drifts across the dawn horizon. Yep, makes sense. The moist skin of fierces gleam as the sun peeks through the darkness. Makes sense. The mist lingering over the lakes, now cesspools of human remains. Yeah. Clears to reveal a mountain, a mountainous landscape of piled cadavers, man. Oh, shit. That's such a fucking awesome image in my head. I've got it right now. Like, whenever I listen to lyrics in a song, I see it in my head. So, everything infant annihilator is growling, singing, whatever the term you want to use for it. Um, I'm kind of picturing it in my head. So, I got such a strange image in my head for the day. But still, man, let's keep going. to say the very least um i know it's powder like i know it's powder like <laughs> you kind of have to kind of remember that it's a powder band i'm not meant to take any of this shit seriously like if you are just watching this reading this whatever like take none of this seriously as dickie's like a very nice guy normally <laughs> just go watch his youtube man he's a pretty sound dude <laughs> but still um perched upon my throne fetal limbs falling from my teeth Slaved harlots by my side, sliding down my colossal cock. Yep. Totally just. Yep. That's an image right now. The conveyor belt descending into the monolithic manor, bearing the birth spawn of I, the Elysian, Grandeval, Galeria? I have no idea. Galeria? I have fucking no idea how to say that. I guess it's some like fucking epic term, and let me fucking search. Look, I have literally no fucking idea, mate. It's just like. I think it's just the theme of the album. I think I'd need to listen to the whole album to kind of get the theme. I'm guessing it's just that was what the creature was called in essence. Like, you know what I mean? Um, like that's just exactly what it really is. Um, perched upon my throne, three times falling from my teeth, the most mist lingering over the lakes. Now, cesspools of human remains. Clears to be a matter of a pile of cadavers. 
the last great ferret is a bloodline of rape. So yeah, like it's based on monsters, I believe. It's like it's not like humans or anything like that. It's kind of like you know how Cannibal Corpse works with monsters to try to make it a little bit less from reality. That's kind of what Infant and I like were doing too. So I can kind of see it to be fair. Um, either way, man. Let's keep. <laughs> That is crazy as fuck, man. <laughs> that is awesome. Fucking hell, man. Oh, do, are we still going? Okay. Let's see where we're going with this one. The lyrics are basically done at this point, man, so. Man, that is just insanity. That is literally like, if you're looking for the definition of deathcore insanity, this was pretty much it, man. Fucking hell. Um, fuck it, man. Let's just put the video there. I'm not even going to bother to edit this, but I'm just going to like, just keep it going. Because why the fuck not, man? We'll do the last bit of the lyrics and then we'll just do an overview, I guess, man. Oh shit. Um, um, a ruinous prophecy of blasphemous pedophilic triumph, like. Like, it's just the one line you just don't want to hear later. As much as it's a fucking... I know the band name, trust me. Like, I understand where we are in terms of the world. Like, where I am doing videos. But, I mean, still. One line you don't particularly want to be reading out now, do you? Um, we freely fondle and defile the desperate descendants. So, basically, like, what you expect to be happening. Um, from monsters who want to destroy every infant on the, on the planet. Um, the angelic servants disfigured and made beyond all recognition or hope. Definitely. Um, behold, these fragile boys. Like, yeah. Obviously. Like, like honestly, if, like, aliens or fucking monsters or creatures from a different dimension came and just wanted to fuck us over, the way to do it is just to destroy the infants, and it? So it kind of makes some kind of sense towards how they're doing it. It's not just for shot value. It's actually got some form of logic to it. I don't know how it has logic to it, but it has logic to it. And just the way that all the words are coming together. It's actually really well written. It's just, like... It's like heavy for heavy sake if that makes any kind of like feasible sense to you. Like it's just heavy for heavy sake and like Dicky or I think it's Dicky who's 
who does the, who's doing the vocals and in fact no, no i could be completely mistaken but i'm pretty like 95 percent sure it is um from what people have said anyway um they have seen too few winters to form their own regret but their pain and desperation is hideously apparent so yeah like it's just like giving you a really, really thoroughly like Im it's like giving you a good image of like what they would be going through if this actually happened like if this insanity actually happened it would literally be this way like you would just it would be so hard to watch it like just like even just like trying to analyze it in lyrics is just like so difficult this just like me trying to get my head around everything and just like like kind of questioning my own life choices at this point like just for trying to fucking analyze and for annihilator but fuck it man i'm already almost done so the stench of feces and fertile flesh drifts across the dawn horizon the moist skin i face this gleam of the sun peaks to the darkness behold blasphemian so yeah like everything there was just purely like mountains of corpses fucking infants across the entirety of the continent fucking monsters ravaging everything in sight draining it of its essence and just making a whole blasphemic blasphemian essence of fucking over the top death core destruction and i guess that's why infinite annihilator are classed as one of those bands which inspired so many vocalists because the vocals on it are pure insanity like if you ignore the lyrics if you take the lyrics away which i am going to do now um, and can literally, like, you can see why so many people loved the vocals and just wanted to copy parts of it. Not copy, but, like, you know, were inspired by it to get somewhere close to it. As man, honestly, I would fucking hope to have, like, 10%, 5% of this new talent. It's just crazy. That whole, that held low was insane, man. Fuck. And just, like, it went faster than Arch Spawn in one of the drums as well. It was just, like... I don't know. I'm partially in shot, partially just like. I only really just did the 20 minute video on Infinite Annihilator. How great do I feel? I feel kind of disturbed right now, personally. Like, I think everybody who's ever truly analyzed Infinite Annihilator has that kind of feeling of regret the moment that they finish recording. They're just like, nah, mate, I'm good. <laughs> I'm probably going to do more, don't get, me, don't get me wrong. I just need like a week, two weeks just to kind of get my head around the shit. Even though I know it's parody, and I know it's not serious. It's still like a whole lot to take in. I should doing like a lot of analysis on it, but still. Either way, man. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful day, evening or night. And I will catch you guys in the very next video. Until then, take it easy.